Good morning, Quadcopter101 here. Before we get started, let's get today's shout out out of the way. Today's shout out goes to Charlie. Charlie was first to say first in one of my recent videos and thus wins this shout out. So congratulations, Charlie. Good morning, Quadcopter101 here, and I have something really, really neat today. This is the new Hubson F-22. What's so special about the Hubson F-22? Well, it is an FPV flyer, first off. It comes with a 5.8 gigahertz FPV system that you can operate either through your um, normal uh, FPV racing goggles, 5.8 gigahertz analog FPV racing goggles, or you can opt for the optional Hubson screen, monitor screen that goes with this that attaches to this controller here. Uh, they have a 5.8 gigahertz FPV screen. Now that uh, FPV screen comes at a, a cost of about $40 extra to the system. Uh, so if you have your own goggles, you might consider, you know, just skipping the optional uh, monitor screen. Although I think you might be able to receive telemetry information with that optional monitor screen. But I don't know how important that telemetry information really is with this particular air, airplane. Uh, why? Well, this airplane is... It actually has a GPS system in it. I believe the GPS antenna is right here, and the compass that goes with that GPS antenna is in this um, uh, vertical um, rudder here. Um, but, vertical stabilizer, I'm sorry, <laughs> vertical stabilizer, folks. The rudder is the thing that's on the back of that. Uh, what's else is special about it? It has 6G uh, gyro. It is gyro stabilized, making this a very easy flyer. Uh, additionally, it has a brushless motor. This is powered by a brushless motor. And to power that brushless motor, you have a uh, 2S battery. It's not a very big 2S battery. It's uh, only, I believe, 450 milliamp per hour. Let me double check that. 480 milliamp per hour, 7.6 volt LIHV battery, 20C. That goes right there. And what else do we got in here to go with this HD camera? Now, this uh, FPV camera is 720p HD. And you can record to a micro SD card. It has a micro SD card slot right there where you can put your own micro SD card in to record. Other things with this, it has a very bright LEDs on the belly of it here uh, for night flying purposes, I'm assuming. Uh, you can see them very brightly. They're almost blinding. They're so bright. Um, what else? It has this feature here. I'm not sure what this is. I think this is a cooling port. <laughs> um, it, you know, the other thing it might be, I doubt it though, it would be a uh, acoustic uh, height sensor, but I really doubt that that's what that is. But let's close this up here. Now this is all constructed out of, I believe this is uh, EPO foam, or EPS, I'm sorry, EPP foam, I believe. Uh, very tough, but they do give you a can of or not a can, but a tube of uh, glue to go with this. And it's just, uh, well, it's kind of a spongy glue. So it's it's a glue for foam. Uh, the reason being, when I got mine, this vertical stabilizer was twisted off a bit. It wasn't broken, but it had come loose, and I had to glue it into place uh, for this flight. Uh, what else? Let's go over the controller real quick. Again, this is its controller. It's the Hobson Bluetooth controller that you see with some of their other models. Um, it does have Bluetooth. <laughs> it lights up, at least. I don't know what the Bluetooth is for, folks, since this actually runs on 2.4 gigahertz uh, analog control, uh, this drone. I'm pretty sure that is. Uh, let's see. Buttons for it. You have video button here. You quick press will start and stop the video. And to take a photo, you do a quick press of the photo button, which is right here. In the instructions, they say this is trim. I don't know how this can be trim, but it might be left and right yaw, I'm assuming, trim for left and right yaw. On-off switch is here. Now, being that this is a GPS bird, this airplane will do a return to home. You know, if you get lost or if you can't see it anymore, if you fly out of range, the airplane will fly back to you and circle over your position. I don't think it will land, but it will fly back to you and return. Um, additionally, if you want it to return on command, all you do is press this button here. You know, Say you get lost out there and don't know where you're at. Press this button here, and it will also fly back and return to you. It does do automatic takeoff and automatic landing, but that's by on command by pressing this button here. And these sticks here, although they do click in, they don't seem to have a fe any... Uh, feature in the instructions. Now let's talk about the instructions real quick. It was a 
you get a quick start manual that's in multi-languages, um, very basic, just enough to, information to get you in the air. I'm assu assuming and hoping that uh, Hudson will be coming out in the uh, future with a better instruction manual because one of the things that you need to know is how many satellites you got. And um, according to the instruction manual, this will not take off until it will not arm until you have sufficient satellites to take off but it would be nice to know how many satellites you got and with that in mind uh in my goggles i'm not seeing any telemetry information from the aircraft i'm assuming as with the h501s you know and the h502s uh that the telemetry information if you want to see telemetry information you'll probably need to purchase that optional monitor monitor from hubson um you can still see video from the camera using your uh, FPV goggles, but unless you buy the uh, Hubson, uh, I'm assuming, I don't know yet, but I'm assuming unless you buy the Hubson monitor, uh, you won't get the telemetry information from the aircraft. Well, let's fire this up, see how it performs, and hope you enjoy this flight. Let's do it. Okay, I've got this turned on. Um, the first thing you need to do, and it does it every time, it will automatically enter into compass calibration mode. And what that means is, well, actually, it's not in compass calibration mode right now. <laughs> those, one of those lights have to, has to uh, start blinking. I think we have to connect to the controller first. Make sure we're turned on. And are we in compass calibration mode now? Yep. Yeah. Okay. It's not in compass calibration mode. <laughs> but to enter compass calibration mode, let me show you how to do that. You need to do this before each and every flight. You should do this before each and every flight. Now you can do gyro calibration, which you move this stick to the right and then wiggle the right stick back and forth. I did that at home before take or before we came out here. But what I need to do and what I want to do is compass calibration. And to do that, you move this left stick to the down and to the left, and then wiggle this right stick right and back and forth like so. And that should put it in compass calibration mode. And right now we are. We got a blinking red light on the right wing. And what you need to do in that case is horizontal turns. Here, I'm just, I'm just going to do a compass calibration dance. You do these horizontal turns until that red blinking light changes to green. And when it's green, then you hold the nose up like so and do another compass calibration dance until both lights come on. Continuing. Okay. We got both lights on, so now we have compass calibration completed. So we're ready to take off right now. So I'm going to put this on the ground. First things first, let me turn on my goggles too <laughs> and record with my goggles. Okay, I am now recording with my goggles, but we're going to do a line of sight flight first. Um, also, I'm going to record with the, the drone, and uh, let me turn on the camera. One thing you do here is the beep and you know the camera's going, and you do see that on the, your analog goggles, regular analog goggles, when it, uh, <laughs> that's the one piece of telemetry information that is coming from this that you will see, but uh, I think we have sufficient satellites, and uh, let's see if we can actually do a takeoff. I'm going to press the takeoff button. And I might stop it. Okay, let me stop it. The ground here is too rough to do an automatic takeoff. Let me see if I can find a more compact area. Maybe I'll just do a hand launch. How's that? Let's see if I can do a normal takeoff. Okay, down and out starts the motors too. Now, what we're going to do, folks, is hand launch it. Let's hand launch it. There we go. Cutting back on the power. Okay. So that was a hand launch of this thing. Now, will it maintain altitude? I don't know. Let's go out and we're going to do a return to home. Let's go up higher too. And then return to home. Let's go over that way. Pressing return to home. Let's see what it does. I just pressed return to home and it goes real high power and then it goes around in circles and I don't know where it's going. 
Turn it off or turn it home. <laughs> It turned them off. Okay, you just gotta <laughs> do a quick press. So that's its return to home, folks. It it flies up high. It goes up real high, about 50 meters up. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I want to land it. Actually, let me put the hat in my wife's head, and we're going to take over, and I'm going to fly at FPV now. Okay, this is not a simple flyer. My wife's coming back. Hold on. <laughs> She's, I gotta put the hat in her head. Here, my love, put the hat on your head. Turn to the right. This thing flies squiggly. I try to keep it in the air, but it keeps wanting to go into the ground. Put this on my head for me, my love. Ouch. Okay. I'm gonna go get it. Let me put the hat back on. I think I need to do a gyro calibration, folks, and the reason being, it keeps wanting to go down into the ground. And uh, when I let go of the right stick, and the motors are still running too, by the way, when I let go of the right stick, it kept wanting to descend. It wasn't maintaining altitude, and I think that's because my I need to probably do a gyro calibration. Let's try that. We need to find a flat area. And here we go. This is relatively flat. And what I'm going to do this time, folks, is move it to the right, down to the right, and then jiggle the stick. And see if that does it. Okay, we're going to go launch it again. I'm going to put the... This time I'm going to put the... Uh, <laughs> FPV goggles on my head before I launch this, <laughs> so I'm ready to go. Okay, one more time I want to re recalibrate. And hopefully that's done. And starting motors. Motor is started. And here we go. Just see a sky. That'll be silly. Boy, this thing flies squirrely. <laughs> and I'm not seeing any signal. I think my, my glasses needs to be. Okay, there we go. Be gentle with the controls. I'm turning with rudder only, folks. Where'd it go? <laughs> Is it coming? No. Is it a return to home, folks? Nice coming. Putting the, yeah. Nice coming. Honey. This is a manual return to home. And it's flying over there. Will it come back to us? No, just doing circles over there. So I see it over there. Give me my glasses back, my love. Thank you. I am not flying FPV with this one for now. It's coming back. Quick press. I'm going to walk over toward it. It's not flying back toward me. I thought it's supposed to do that. It's just flying around in circles where it's at right now. Which is off in the distance there.
Let's see if I'm going to turn it to the right, bring it back toward me. So, you know, if you're a beginner flyer, uh, I'm not so sure this is for you. Um, it, it's not as easy to fly as you might think it would be, folks. Cutting back the throttle, it's coming down. Trying to bring it back toward me. I hope it's recording. And his lights are blinking real rapid now. So I, I got a feeling his battery's probably getting weak. Yep, there we go. <laughs> its lights were blinking. That meant it was its battery was low. And when its battery goes out, it does that. <laughs> it nosed into the ground. <laughs> So, I hope it's wheel didn't come off. I'm looking, here it is. The front wheel came off, it's got to be re-glued back in there. So that's the flight of the F-22 from Hubson. Um, interesting concept. Uh, I'm not so sure how accurate its GPS system is. It seems to, when you activate it, it's, it does a circle where it's at, where it's located at. It didn't want to come back to me. Maybe I didn't have the uh, information when I took off. It didn't have sufficient satellites. I'm, I got a feeling that was the problem, that when I took off, I did not have sufficient satellites at the moment um, for it to note its position where it was at. Because when I activated, returned to home, all it did was, was climb up 50 meters, like it's supposed to. It's supposed to climb up to 50 meters, and then circled that position where it was at. It didn't go anywhere else. So, uh, <laughs> uh, other than that, you know, uh, my goggles steamed up on me, so I wasn't able to see the FPV video. Uh, let's press this, stop this video, too. Okay, I didn't turn this off, did I? There we go. Um, other things... Uh, yeah, this came off <laughs> the wheel. The wheel needs to be glued in there a little bit better than it is. Um, it was a very fast flyer. Again, very fast flyer. I'm not so sure how uh, good this would be for a beginner pilot. Intermediate pilots, yeah, this would be interesting. I'm going to give this another shot in another field. But uh, right now, the way it is right now, I don't know if it's good for beginners. Okay, um, it's just a little too fast, and also it had a tendency to, to descend while I was flying. Um, and that's after I did those gyro calibrations, so I'm not so sure. So I hope you enjoyed this flight, this quadcopter 101 with the F-22. First flight of the F-22, maiden flight. And again, I'm going to give this another shot in another place. So I hope you enjoyed this flight, quadcopter 101, signing out. Hi, Quadcopter 101 here again. Hey, if you want to get your own shout out in one of my future videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's real simple. Just go to my channel page and click on that subscribe. And also make sure to click that bell button right next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified when I release a brand new video immediately and give you a chance to get that first shout out. So give it a try, folks. <music>